This will be, I guarantee you, the most interesting thing you're going to see in this entire show. This is a standard off-the-shelf Corent device. We pulled this out of the box, we took the cover off, we stuck it in the tank. It's operating. Can everybody hear the fans? Right? Right now it tells me I've got one and what about one amp at 48 volts flowing through here. So the question is, is would you pour a liquid over an operating piece of electrical equipment? So my name's Gary Testa. I run a company called Engineered Fluids. We manufacture an amazing product called dielectric coolants. And what you're about to witness is the way all electronics will be cooled in the next five years. Simply because it's the most efficient way. All computers that were designed originally were all liquid cooled because they were so hot you simply couldn't use air. What happened over time though is we got really efficient at making really small ICs that were capable of being air cooled. That's why we have all this noise. Everybody's been in a data center, right? What's the first thing you hear? You hear the fans, right? What's the second thing you notice? It's freezing cold. Why? Because we have to move a tremendous amount of air through all of these electronic devices. All of these heat sinks are there just to dissipate the heat. Now, everybody remember their uh, physics class? Air. We'll call that one. One cubic meter of air has a value of one for heat density. The liquid that's in this container is 1,600 times denser from a heat perspective. Now, water is the best conductor of heat from a fluid we have. It's over 2,000. It has one small drawback, though. Anybody want to pour water in here and stick their hand in it? I don't think so. Why? Water conducts electricity. The fluid that's in here actually is non-conductive to 60,000 volts over 5,000 amps. So the, the question is, what's going to happen when I pour this over the top of this? Can everybody hear that fan? Okay, the average data center generates about 89 decibels of fan noise. Sitting next to me in this device right here is an 8 kilowatt data center. You know how much noise it's generating? Less than 1 dB. Okay, 8 kilowatts. That's the equivalent of a standard 42U rack in most data centers today. All right, you all came to see me pour this on top. Let's do it. It's optically clear. Has better refractive index than the gapping grease. I don't see anything happening. Hasn't shorted out yet. On most devices, we remove the fan. Why? The fans use 20% of the power. Imagine that. 20% of your device's power is the fan. If I get rid of the fan, I just got 20% cost reduction in your TCO. Everybody hear the fan? Hear the fan? Hear the fan? Where's the fan? Fans are working just fine. They just don't make any noise when they're under fluid. So there you go. You have an operating device. 48 volts, gentlemen, correct? Yes. Yep. Right? 48 volts. Oh, I stuck my hand in it. Wait a second. I'm still here. Right? Think about that. A little slipperier than water. The viscosity here is slightly thicker slightly thicker than water. Now, the question is, is, is it still working? I don't know. Let's pick it up and find out. Oh, there's our fans. To be honest, the, the amazing part about this, oh, we want to see if our ducky floats. Oh, that's the problem. They're designed for, for water, and water is actually, this is 80% the weight of water, okay? I've had my hands in this stuff for the past year. I'm still here. 
totally biodegradable, completely non-allergenic. Now, this is my favorite part. Has no taste. Has no taste. What you're seeing is the future of cooling, folks. 3% of your cooled power. You cannot find a more efficient manner of cooling any electronic device. Even in a data center with free air cooling, the maintenance cost alone exceeds the operating cost of a fluid-filled environment. Folks, I invite all of you to kind of stick your finger in if you dare. Right? Come on, it's safe. Thank you all. The product's called Electrocool. We make it in five different types. Basically different uh, viscosities and temperature ranges. So this particular one is Electrocool 100. And this is the primary product that we use in our uh, data center cooling application. There it is.